We want to get to a WLWT investigation sounding the alarm about a sudden spike in ODs. That's right. While the numbers aren't sky high, they've risen quickly enough to prompt an overdose alert from Hamilton County health officials. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live with details on what that alert says. Todd? Yeah, Ashley and Mike, the alert points to a potential surge in fentanyl. It doesn't say anything about a bad batch of the synthetic opioid, which is one reason today's alert was published with a dose of caution. There's something going on that we don't know, we can't put our finger on. Tom Sinan is plugged in deeply to the drug scene in Cincinnati. As a local police chief and leading voice of Hamilton County's Addiction Response Coalition, Sinan has dealt with numerous spikes in overdose cases during the past decade. We've stabilized since 2017 and for the last couple of years to see a lower trend in overdose deaths and overdoses period is good. That's what made an overdose alert issued this morning by Hamilton County health officials feel somewhat startling. They say local emergency rooms saw 11 overdose visits on Sunday, New Year's Eve, with the same number of 911 calls. On Tuesday, ER saw 12 overdose visits and Hamilton County's coroner says it appears three ODs were deadly. You never know if you are snorting, injecting, or swallowing a pill, there is potential that fentanyl, illegal fentanyl, could be in that drug. The unpredictable presence of fentanyl seems to be the main driver behind today's health alert, since ODs are not concentrated in one neighborhood and clusters of people aren't passing out at the same time. Those kinds of indicators were common during overdose spikes in years past. Back in the day, you would have something, I could say this is causing this and here's where it's connected. Here we don't have those other things. So there's actually some good in this. And what this tells me is that there were people going to the hospital. They weren't just overdosing and dying by themselves. It also tells me that there was harm reduction that kept somebody alive. And Tom Sinan is a big believer in harm reduction. We're talking things like Narcan and fentanyl test strips to help people survive addiction and hopefully seek recovery. And I can tell you just last summer, for the first time in his police career, it's pretty remarkable considering how much work he's done, but Sinan actually used Narcan on a man who'd overdosed. Uh, just happened to come upon this man on the side of the road. A few days later, Tom told me today that that man went to a treatment center. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Now, Todd, we know how deadly fentanyl can be. What kinds of drugs uh, is it being mixed with here? Yeah, Ashley, Chief Sinan says it's being mixed with things that a person can ingest, snort, or uh, inject, all those things. Uh, that means illicit substances like powder and crack cocaine, uh, methamphetamine, and of course, and perhaps most frighteningly these days, fake counterfeit pills. Ashley?